Previously on Ancient Warriors, Legacies of Olympus. Oh, yeah. Well, I kind of need an advisor. And well, I cleared it with the team. Yes? I was wondering if you would like the position. Hold on. What? Uh, <laughs> are you sure about this? As sure as the day is long. <laughs> well, uh, if I were to say yes... That would make Apollon king of the underworld. And I need to clear it with him before I say yes. That's fine. I wasn't expecting an answer now anyways. But whatever my answer turns out to be, I'm honored. So thank you. You're welcome. Just let me know after the coronation, okay? Now, can you feel it stirring in the wind? Ready! Ready! Ancient gods, whip it on! Part 1. Long Live the Queen. Interior. The Underworld. Morning. Hades is in the Underworld, preparing to talk to Apollon. Apollon walks into Hades' throne room. Hades? Hades jumps back, surprised. Sorry, uh, did I scare you? No, no. I just didn't notice that you were there. You've been talking to yourself a lot lately. What's going on? Well, Abigail asked me to be her royal advisor. <gasps> That's great! You finally get to live back on Olympus. Yeah, but that's where the problem lies. I need to relinquish my power of the underworld and give it to someone else. Okay. That's where you come in. Hades, are you asking me to run the underworld? I have no one else to give it to. You could give it to our daughter, maybe. She wouldn't be able to handle it. I'm asking you because I trust you. I know the Underworld would be in great hands. I mean, of course I'll do it. But how are you supposed to transport death into another person? I haven't gotten that far yet. So I have no clue how to change anything. I think the answer lies back in Olympus. So then, go and tell Abigail. If it's a tentative yes until we figure it out to make the transfer. If you wait too long, she'll have to choose someone else, and that person will most likely be from her team of warriors. I know that. Trust me. She doesn't want to do that. Meanwhile, on Mount Olympus, the warriors are getting ready for Abigail's coronation. Do you like my dress for coronation? You look like you're going to a funeral. Rude. Um, don't you own... Any clothes that are not black? No. Really? Weren't you like the green warrior back in the day? You have no green clothes? Unless you want me to wear a toga, so no. Has anybody seen Abigail and Anthony? Nope! Riley comes out of the bathroom dressed up for the coronation. Damn, you look good! Oh, Samantha, let me help your jaw off the floor. Shut up! 
helmet head. Okay, okay, break it up. Anthony comes out of the other bathroom wearing a suit. Hey, guys. Anthony, what are you wearing? Yeah, I know. I look like a butler. A good-looking one at that. Abigail and Anthony kiss. Ew! Thanks for being here for me, you guys. Today is definitely going to be different. Hey, real quick, you're still leading the team, right? I mean, I could always. Think of stepping on that leader spot, Anth, and I'm going to kick your ass. I'm going to shut up now. Good. Yes, Ivy, I am still going to be leading the team. Why would I abandon my family? The warriors come together in a group hug. Guys, we should get going. We have to get good seats. Relax! Your seats are already saved. But you guys should get out there before it gets crazy. Okay, I'm first! For what? Um, what do you think? To get in the car? All of the warriors start running to the car. Outside of the throne room... Good morning, Olympus! This is David Cole, and I am joined today with the gorgeous and wonderful... Joanne Winter at the coronation of Abigail, and we are coming to you live from our helicopter flying above Mount Olympus, and we are currently watching the guests enter. Once again, the women are fascinating with their fantastic fascinators. Look, David, is that woman wearing a peacock on her head? I believe so, Joan. And look there once again, one of the first to arrive is Hades, Medusa, and Apollon. It looks like the evil royal family is back together. Oh, be quiet, Joan. They are a nice family. Look, it's Samantha and Riley. Aren't they just adorable? I think my heart just melted. Look, it's Marco. Here comes Blake, Croatia, and Ivy. I love Ivy's pink dress. Me too. Also, Cal and Alex. Ladies and gentlemen, now arriving is the Royal Olympian Marching Band, and they are preparing to play the Royal Fanfare for the entry of our future queen. Abigail and Anthony stand outside the throne room. You don't trust me, do you? I think so. You know so. You can do this, Abby. How do you know? I'm your husband. I'm supposed to know. Anthony kisses Abigail on the head. The doors open, and Anthony walks Abigail down the aisle to the front of the crowd. Ladies and gentlemen, what we are witnessing right now is another historic moment. This is very interesting. Abigail's dress has more than a 100,000 in-hand placed crystals scattered across the bodice of her dress. I am very interested to find out who the designer is and how long that did take. Anyways, I think we can all agree that our future queen looks absolutely extraordinary. I am David Cole. And Joanne Winter. We'd like to thank you for tuning in to the coronation of Abigail Sitak. Thank you, Olympus. So, who is crowning you anyway? My sister. Which one? Athena. Really? Relax. Athena's really nice. Before Abigail comes into the throne room, she runs into Athena, who is the crown bearer for the ceremony. Hey, sis. My little sister. Wow. Not so little anymore, I see. Yeah, yeah, come on. Let's get this over with. We can reminisce later. The goddess of wisdom and war strategy, Athena, walks in holding the crown, and Abigail is bowing down in front of her. Ladies and gentlemen, before us stands Amis Lightning Sitak, the daughter of the former mighty Zeus. Amis, through your childhood, you have been preparing to be a fighter and not prepared to take over the throne one day. The day where you take over the royal family has now finally come. Amis, do you promise to protect Mount Olympus? I do. Do you solemnly swear? That if your subjects are in trouble, that you will be able to aid them? I do. Do you promise to take this vow of life seriously and hold yourself responsible in desperate situations? I, Amis Lightning's Attack, will take responsibility if anything happens to my people and in dire situations help lead Mount Olympus. I hereby crown you, 
Amis lightning sitak. The crown floats into the air and onto Abigail's head, and she takes hold of her scepter. All hail your new queen, Amis sitak. Abigail turns around to the crowd and they cheer. Anthony walks Abigail out of the throne room. They walk outside and the door behind them closes. Abigail hugs Anthony. <laughs> that wasn't so hard, was it? Oh, be quiet. Athena walks out of the throne room and over to her sister's side. Congrats, little sis. Thanks, big sis. The gang wants to talk to you. Wait, who is she talking about? Oh, she means my older siblings. Let's go. Athena grabs Abigail's hand and drags her over to Zeus's hidden room. The warriors walk out of the throne room. We're going to go head back to Earth and begin unpacking. Let us know if you and Abby need anything. Will do. The warriors take their Olympians back to Earth. Abigail walks in and sees all of her siblings. You killed Zeus? Not killed. Threw him into a cage. Don't you think you have a lot of stuff to fix because of Dad? Well, he caused a lot of damage. But she can fix it. The siblings hug. I'll see you around. Abigail leaves and heads back to the throne room. The door behind her slams shut and becomes dark. Hello? Abigail hears a voice laughing. Who's there? Answer me. A ghost-like figure appears at the throne. Hello, Amos. Dad? End of part one, start of part two. The new normal. Abigail is in the throne room alone with her father's ghost. Hello, Abby. You're supposed to be in Tartarus. Why are you here? Well, isn't it obvious? I want my crown back. No. Excuse me? As long as you're in Tartarus, this crown is mine. So I'll say it again. Make me. Okay, then. Zeus's ghost shocks Abigail with lightning, and she screams and fights back with lightning. <laughs> you're so weak, you're never going to be queen. It hurts! <laughs> Why are you doing this to me? Because you deserve it. Oh my god, get out of my head! Zeus disappears. Abigail stands up, groaning in pain. I told them my father was coming. Why would no one believe me? Abigail notices her lightning veins are pumping through her face. I need to go lie down. Abigail leaves the throne room. Anthony is still waiting for Abigail outside the throne room. Hey, are you okay? Yeah, um, I just tripped. I'm just a little bit dizzy. Wait, what are those shock marks from? Oh, that, uh, I just shocked myself. So... Uh, where did the team go? They went back to Earth. Oh, okay. Hades walks over to Abigail. Hades walks over to Abigail. Uncle Hades, what are you back up here for? To tell you something. What? I would love to accept your offer as your royal advisor. Really? I want to be able to help you get through this. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming, Hades, you know, but I think Abby needs to relax before she burns herself out. Feel better, Abby. Thanks. Meanwhile, back in the base, the warriors are unpacking the boxes out of the van. That's the last of them. And look who just showed up. Hey, guys. Her Royal Highness is here. The celebration isn't over yet, y'all, because me, Alex, and Anthony graduate from college tomorrow. Finally. And... I'm stuck with Samantha for two more years. Please, please don't leave me. Hey, might as well lock us back in that closet. Well, I agree. And the closet is the only place where we actually agree. So that's progress. So, Abigail, how does it feel to be the queen of Mount Olympus? I mean, nothing really changed. I am still who I am. Also, Marco, were you able to get the digital map and the detectors? And basically everything else up and running? Yeah, it should work. The gang walk over to the map and Marco pulls it up. They see the city through the hologram. Wow. We can see the whole city from here. Abigail and Anthony look at each other. Should we show them? Yeah. Where are we going? It, it's a surprise. Just come on. Come with me and Anthony. Let's go. Abigail, Anthony, and the gang walk up a set of stairs, and Abigail opens the airlock, and it opens up to a deck, and you can see everything. The team stares in astonishment. 
Abigail, Anthony, and the gang walk up a set of stairs, and Abigail opens the airlock, and it opens up to a deck, and you can see everything. The team stares in astonishment. Whoa. This was the surprise? We can see the whole city from here. Look at that sunset. It's beautiful. So, no more monsters? For now, at least. Guys, there's a cooler up here. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Me and Abigail wanted to have a bit of a party. Well, you know, to celebrate new beginnings and new adventures and all that. We will always be friends for life. So now, we party! The team grabs drinks from the cooler and sits on the deck together, looking at the sunset. Cheers to having the best team. Thank you for changing me and Anthony's life so much. And thanks for being the coolest friends ever. Is it okay if I say something? Absolutely. I want to thank you all for welcoming me with open arms into your amazing team and getting to share my love with Samantha. I'm so glad to have found such a wonderful new family. To ancient warriors. The team cheers and clinks their glasses. Clink, clink, bitch! It's so peaceful out here. Does this mean no more monsters? No more monsters. An alarm goes off at the base and the warriors groan. Aw, come on! Son of a bitch! Let's go! The gang runs up the stairs back into the base, and they realize it's coming from the map, and they all run over. Riley, pull up the map hologram. Riley pulls out the map hologram on the floating table, and it lays flat. Looks like we have a monster to fight. We're never going to be able to relax, are we? Oh, sis. Did you actually think we would? It's Amy. Let's get going. The warriors head out of the base to the downtown Plot Point Peak. Damn, I have a lot of shit to fix. We'll help you. Don't worry. Bitch, where are you? Be quiet, Sam. She's close. So we take her on headstrong? Of course. This is the job we were made to do. Did we get that alert for nothing? Abigail gets hit in the back of the head by a rock. Ow! Okay, who threw that? Wasn't me. (laughs) It was me! Why are you here? Um, isn't the apocalypse supposed to be over? Stop asking so many questions! The apocalypse will be over when I say it's over! Samantha decides to shapeshift. Ancient gods, Olympian on! (laughs) This boring shit again? Amy, we can do this the easy way or the hard way. Aww, look at the queen trying to defend her people. Bitch, who does she think she is? A demon. That's who. Well, I'm waiting. Uh, can I? Just go. Go! You're gonna let her go wild on Amy? Trust me, but y'all might want to call your weapons for protection. Why? Because she's gonna explode. Guys, a little help here! Damn! She really did get her ass whooped by a demon. Amy drops Samantha to the floor. Amy disappears again. Well, you see, I did ask for help, but I got nothing! Here we go again. Let's get back to the base. We need to figure out a game plan. The gang stands around the floating map in the base. Amy keeps coming back. We have to figure out how to stop her. Well, I mean, isn't there something in the database talking about her strengths and weaknesses? Riley pulls up the database. Okay, here we go. Isadora, aka Amy, is a demon who practices witchcraft. Strengths, magic, killing people. We kind of already knew that one. She did kill my parents. Can we continue on, please, Riley? Of course. Uh, actually, I think I might have found her weakness. Fighting fire with fire? Well, Amy can wait, but we have bigger problems like, oh, I don't know, Kronos? He's not wrong. He was banished. At least for now. He isn't the one causing damage right now. He used my body for his own twisted games. What is wrong with you? A lot of things. Well, we don't have time to fight Amy tonight. Since we have to pack up tonight. Yeah, we should probably get a head start. Then let's get going. We'll pick this back up after graduation. Hey Alex, can I- can I help? Sure, I guess. Abigail, Anthony, Ivy, and Alex leave the base. Interior. Archimedes University. Night. 
Alex and Ivy are packing up Alex's dorm room. Where do we start? Tell me where. I guess we'll start with my bed. Alex and Ivy start packing up underneath Alex's bed. Alex, I want to mend our relationship. Why would you want to fix that which is already too broken to be fixed? Because we need to. We're siblings, and Alexis would want us to be happy, right? Yeah, we should. Listen, I know you miss her, but I do too. We should do this for her. Yeah, you are right. Look, sis, I love you, and I want us to become stronger together as siblings. Me too. Alex and Ivy hug. Meanwhile, Abigail and Anthony's apartment. Abigail and Anthony are packing up their apartment to move to Olympus. You ready to graduate? Yeah. Are you good? Yeah. Sure. Uh Uh-oh. What's wrong? I kind of just don't want to leave this place. This was like our first place where we became one. You and I became us. You and I became Mr. and Mrs. Zalar. And now we get to call Olympus our home. Abigail and Anthony kiss. Meanwhile, at the ancient warrior's base, Riley and Samantha are unpacking their stuff in the base. So, are you ready to start planning the wedding? I mean, I guess. I don't even know where to start. We'll take it slow. It's not like we need to rush through the process. I know, but we've been waiting for this for so long. I just I just want to find us a good place to start. We'll figure it out. Don't worry. Samantha and Riley kiss. Meanwhile, in Antarctica, Cronus is walking through the cold in Antarctica. Stupid warriors, I have to get out of this frozen tundra! Cronus sees a portal to Tartarus and jumps through it, and he ends up back in Tartarus. Ah, home sweet home. Now let's get this party started! End of part two, end of episode one. 